Hi everyone, here is a hard fact about energy and climate policy here in America. What we do doesn't matter anymore. That's not, a, that's not an opinion, that's a fact. And it's a fact based on the latest numbers from the Statistical Review of World Energy, which came out last week. The Statistical Review is published every year, has been published every year now for 72 or 73 years. Uh, and what, is the, what do the numbers show? China and India, the emissions that are uh, growing in those two countries alone are swamping any reductions in CO2 emissions that are occurring in the U.S., Europe, and Japan. Okay, before I go on, who am I? My name is Robert Bryce. Uh, I've been writing about energy and energy policy and, and power now for more than 30 years. I give you the facts and the numbers about energy and power, not the spin. I've published six books, uh, co-produced two documentaries. This is what I do. It's my purpose and my passion. Okay, so back to the statistical review. Why am I saying that climate policy in the U.S. doesn't matter anymore? Well, because it doesn't. Uh, and in fact, if you look at the latest numbers, um, last year, the U.S. reduced its emissions, uh, as, uh, and so did uh, Germany, Japan, the U.K., the, the other big uh, economies in the world. Overall, combined reductions in those four countries was about 300 million tons of reduction of CO2. Last year alone, CO2 emissions in China grew by 642 million tons. In India, they grew by 219 million tons. In other words, uh, just the, the increases in China and India alone are more than two times the reductions that were achieved in the United States, Europe, and, and Japan. That's just the facts. Um, and, and what's going on? Well, electricity demand in particular is rising in China and India and both places went up by something like 7% last year. And how did they meet most of that demand with more coal? So the reality is there is no energy transition. It is not happening. And again, that's not my opinion. That's a fact. The numbers show this. And I forgot to mention this in uh, the Substack that I published uh, yesterday, but the head of the Energy Institute, uh, which publishes the Statistical Review of World Energy along with KPMG and Carney, said uh, that in uh, clean energy, is, he said, use the words clean energy, still not displacing fossil fuels and quote, arguably the transition has not even started. That's not my opinion, that's his words. The facts show that in, he's right. There, the, the transition has not even started because hydrocarbons continue to grow faster than alternative energy. And that is because the world needs more hydrocarbons, not less. There are still far too many billions of people still living in energy poverty. And what are they going to use to get out of energy poverty? They're going to use hydrocarbons. That's a fact. Uh, the energy transition has not even started. Not my opinion, that's a fact. Okay, I'll stop there. Check out my latest piece on Substack. It's called Numbers Don't Lie. Uh, you know where to find me on Substack, robertbryce.substack.com. Thanks a lot. See ya.